Hello everyone, Selden here from Arco AI again, and we have some exciting new features I want to talk about today. First up, let's talk about the seed feature. So picture this, you've just created an amazing design and you want to replicate that style across multiple renders or views. The new seed feature is the piece that you've been looking for. Each render captures its essence with the seed and allows you to apply it repeatedly. Let me show you. This is our new Pro tab. As you see here, there are a couple new options. We have negative prompts, which we'll get to later, as well as a seed. So let's put in some words. Let's say beach house, large triangle window, large circular window, uh, tan walls, and sand. Okay. I want to maintain a little bit more of the original design, so we're going to turn the difference all the way down to about 17. Sure. And let's just hit it. Okay. Looks pretty good. We're going to generate another one for some variation. As you can see here, this is our seed. And so if we hit it again, and we get a new one. Uh, this one's pretty good. So what we're going to do is we'll take down this seed here, and we'll just copy that and we'll paste it somewhere else for later. Now, if the prompts are the same and the seed is the same, we'll generate a similar image. So let's go create another view. All right, now that we have another view, we're gonna refresh the view and we will put in our seed again that we copied and we will render it again keeping the same settings as last time. And there we go. It keeps a lot of the same essence from what we liked in the original. And let's create a third view just for fun. We have our third view, we have our seed, and let's hit the button. And there we go. Keep a lot of the elements that we like and keep a more consistent feel across the renders. Now, let's delve into the powerful capabilities of negative prompts. We all know the frustration of seeing an AI generated image that's not quite what we had in mind, but with negative prompts, you can steer the AI away from an unwanted result by simply telling it what you do not want in your design. In our first image, we have some grass. So using the new negative prompts feature, we will simply add in grass. We simply tell it what we do not want to see in our design and watch as the AI responds by refining its output to align with our vision. This is like having a direct line of communication with the AI, helping you discard the noise and focus on what truly matters. And we have no more grass. Very quickly and effectively, it removed the elements that we did not want to see. And finally, we have the image quality slider for our pro users so that you can generate higher quality images. If you're as excited about the new pro UI as I am, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way, you won't miss out on our future videos, where I'll be exploring new features and share the latest updates. Remember, with the new Pro UI, you have the power to reimagine the rendering process with the click of a button. And that's Arco AI. Be sure to check out our forum, our website, and our social medias seen here.